Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be talking about getting eczema in the winter time. So this is something that happens to me and it's quite annoying because I'll be living my life normally and then all of a sudden one day I'll wake up and my fingers will start breaking apart like this. And it's not a whole lot of fun to deal with, but I'm going to talk about what causes it, what makes it worse and how I find I can help out with this. So winter time has drier air and eczema is usually because of dry skin. So the two are obviously correlated. Now, I don't always get eczema anytime that the winter months roll around. I actually haven't had in a few years time, but this year we had extreme cold weather where it got up to or down to minus 47 degrees Celsius, which is like minus 40 Fahrenheit as well. It's so it was so cold out. And ever since then, I've been dealing with this. So one thing that actually goes alongside cold weather that causes eczema is heat. So if you have a heater on, it's going to be blowing hot air that can dehydrate your skin as well. So that's something that I'm dealing with because I have a heater on me um, for a good portion of the day sometimes. And I find that that also dries out my skin. But uh, those two are the biggest contributors. So hot air or very cold air. Um, <laughs> it's kind of funny. The cold, dry air is going to be the, the reason for eczema. Usually it's just that that heat consistently on your body will also tend to dry things out. I typically get it on my fingers and on my palms here. Um, so those are the two biggest causes of getting eczema in the winter time. But one thing that I find that helps out a lot, there's some different creams that you can get. Some are over the counter, some uh, require a doctor, but this one here, Glycomed, works very well. I've used this many times and it's a mixture of glycerin, shaman oil, and silicone to deliver indispensable care to your rough, dry hands. Use daily on hands, knees, elbows, whatever, needs extra little help. That's what it says on the back there. I find this stuff works very well. Like I put it on just a little bit. Um, it's gonna mix up just like that much is fine for me. And I find whenever I put this on that my skin gets a relief, not permanent relief, but it's good for half an hour, an hour maybe-ish. Um, consistently applying these hand creams is gonna help out with reducing the eczema. And uh, there's also a cream that I get from the pharmacy that you don't need a prescription for. Can't recall the name of it off the top of my head right now, but it does help out as well. Doesn't smell the greatest, but this stuff works. The Glycomed smells amazing, though, chamomile. So it smells good. My biggest tip, keep yourself very hydrated. Be aware of any heaters that you have might have around you, um, even heater in a car if you're driving a lot can cause some dryness in the skin. And use lots of hand cream, um, any type of hand cream or even just the medicator ones that you can get. All of that's gonna help. You just have to stay on top and do your due diligence. Um, I find touching clothing a lot dries my hands out. I used to work at a clothing store and it always dried my hands out. But being aware of what you're touching often, if it's in your hands or what are the common things that you have in the run of a day that could be contributing to this. Another tip, drink lots of water. Water is great for many things, but it's also great for keeping you hydrated and eczema is usually the dry dehydration of your skin. So drink more water and it'll hopefully help out. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please hit that like and subscribe button below and I will see you in the next video.